We are looking at the nicest stretch of weather we have had in about a month and a half. So sit back and kind of enjoy what's coming up. Now, it's interesting here. Lexington Financial Center, we've had one cold front go through. We've got the shadow from a cloud going by there. But we can see the hills, which we have not been able to see for a while. We've cleared the haze out. So looking good there for us. We've got even more pristine air on the way. Uh, that's being led by that little batch of showers, which is just now crossing the Ohio River, actually just about to the Ohio River, southern Indiana. That is on a front that is dropping southward that has some real Canadian air behind it. So that's what we call a reinforcing cold front. We had the first one go through that brought all the rain yesterday and the behind it. Now today's been a pretty good one uh, behind this second front coming again. It feels more like September. We get 90% of a great weekend. Saturday will be spectacular. Sunday we dodge in a shower or two and lots of star stuff as we uh, Get to the end of the weather segment here. Reasons to look up 81 in Moorhead as we shine the spotlight on Moorhead. Uh, that is along with a dew point in the mid 60s. So you have a little bit of a heat index. 82 was the high in Rowan County today. 84 right now, Lexington. That's as warm as we've been all day. Light northwest winds at mid 60s dew point. We're right on the edge of muggy, which is better than the muggies and beyond where we have been. We're going to be way into the comfy category as we look ahead. Here's what happens from 7 o'clock this evening. Our dew points are going to be on the way down. At dew point again, the amount of moisture in the air. When those numbers are in the 40s and 50s, it's terrific. Watch this. Here comes your plume of moisture. You see it wrapping up right in there. That's a storm that will be moving through the Midwest. That's going to be your potential rainmaker as we look ahead to Sunday. But again, two points in the 40s and 50s on Saturday. Just terrific. So there's your reinforcing cool front. It is dropping south. There are a few little showers arrayed with it. And those could even last into the hours after midnight. Then that presses south tomorrow morning. We see increasing sunshine. High pressure builds in. Here comes that area of low pressure. Once again, the counterclockwise spin. We're seeing there on the moisture plume. Now as we go into Saturday, maybe some high clouds late in the day. But Saturday night, thunderstorms should be developing in here. And those will likely then dive to the southeast. And that will be your potential for the rain on Sunday. 79 in Harrodsburg tomorrow, 77 in Carlisle makes for a fantastic Friday. 76 in Frenchburg, 77 in Stanton. To the southeast, the 77 in Boonville, 76 in McKee, and finally over in the lakes, 76 in Somerset, 79 Monticello, 80 over in Jamestown. All right, reason one to look up. We have got the Perseid meteor shower. Now it's technically going on tonight, but it peaks tomorrow night. The problem is you're going to be battling a full moon out there, so that's going to limit any of the faint ones you might see. But keep in mind, all what you're seeing with a shooting star, with a meteor, little piece of leftover comet, little piece of dust. It just hits the Earth's atmosphere so fast that it incinerates and you're able to see it. Give yourself about 15 to 30 minutes for your eyes to adjust. If you notice that the days are getting shorter, it's happening at a faster rate. We've already lost an hour since the solstice in June. We'll lose another 15 minutes by next week. Clear to partly cloudy, that itty bitty shower chance overnight. We're down around 60. Your day tomorrow becoming sunny, cooler and less humid. A September like day. Upper 70s. Start out in the 50s on Saturday. Your high right around 80 with that sunshine. There's your storm chance on Sunday. Most of next week looking pretty good. 